What's up? V. Seaman. All right, that's my man, Michael. How you doing, guys? Oh, good morning, true. Here it's like uh, 7 p.m., so kind of almost late noon. <laughs> Just like to, to get in um, you guys hyped, we are going to have um, uh, tomorrow Mike Torres, on Wednesday um, Angie Walton from Daily Bread, and on Thursday Abdiel Kohlberg. I'm still waiting for the, um, for the confirm of Dave Payne for Tuesday, but yeah, we'll see. And then, yeah, um, there's like a lot of people still. Eric Garcia will be here on, uh, what's up, Bella? On, um, on Sunday, on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've asked to tons of people, maybe too much. <laughs> How you guys doing? Yo, what's up, Michael? How you doing, my brother? Bella, how's life? How's everything down there in um, in Budapest? Man, we should do one of these with you, man. We should definitely do one of these. Quindi domani apriranno Motta. Spero di sì, minchia. So, for those who don't know, tomorrow um, here in Italy, the government allow the people to make like uh, activities outside, like uh, sports, jogging, skating, or whatever. And there might be the chance that like, we are going to be able to go skate in skate parks. So we will see tomorrow what is going on. The thing that really concerns me is the fact that like um, there might be the chance uh, to like, you know, get like all of those contagious people going up. Ciao Jean-Paul, tutto bene? Damn, Mike trying to, trying to survive, my brother. Trying to survive. Ain't it easy, but yeah, I mean... That's all we have to do. Wait. Trying to be like uh, as positive as we can. Luckily, I was able to, to build like a practice box and a practice rail. And I'm skating down into, into my garage. So I'm good. I'm good. So with Mike, we are going to talk about like what is going on right now in Austria. Um, Rams. Blade Life, Red Eye Wheels, um, like, he, I think he studied as a nurse, I can't really remember, because he told me, but I can't really remember that, yeah, Gabriel is well too, thank you so much, my brother, uh, he's waiting for those 909, and we are thinking to make, like, um, another edit, just like the one we did with the Sean Darst, so... Grindhouse said that they are going to receive the, the 909 this week. So maybe like within like this time, we are going to be able to, you know, uh, scale a little more to, to be back in shape and then and then go out and film. Then that's creating ATL. <clears throat> I didn't hear about it, but that's crazy. Grande Ale. John. Let's see where Mikey is. Oh, it's online, my brother. And um and, and yeah. Yoohoo! Big money. <laughs> Grande Ale. I'm looking also to, I've asked it to Rashard Johnson, but unfortunately he's kind of busy. And, um, but yeah, maybe, maybe one day we're going to be able to talk with him. And, um, and like, just I was saying with Juliana the other day, um, I'm going to uh, try to involve as well, like the people from South America. Right now I've got the response from Fabio Ennis. So like not this week, but the next one. He will be in the, here like talking with us and then I would like to get involved people from uh, um, Colombia, Ecuador and Peru, of course, of course, Argentina. So, yeah. My man Michael is here. And let's 
get this thing started. There you go. Yo! Hey, what's up? What's up, my brother? How you doing? How you doing? All good, all good. Just Where done you skating. At? Just gotten home. Uh, just I, I saw you skating earlier, skate. right? Don't you? Oh, my God. Yeah, finally. like uh, They lifted the, um, the lockdown just a little bit. Um, about like yeah mm -hmm. two days ago uh just wait wait a sec yeah <laughs> uh uh sorry uh yeah they lifted the the lockdown a bit two days no, no ago problem, and problem. it was uh yeah it's just like an audio difficulty <laughs> um and now <laughs> the skate parks are back open and we finally got to skate together again and it's oh man. you're allowed to it's be great. like 10 people like in a, in a safe distance or all, all right but like skating together just make sure you don't hug each other too much which is kind of weird like you you're you, you kind of want to hype the people up to yeah. if, if they land tricks but all together it's just like it's it feels like heaven after two <laughs> months already just being back out skating with with other people and Shit. seeing real tricks in real life is, <laughs> <laughs> it's surreal yeah <laughs> man i bet i mean like i was saying earlier like um, we are going to have the same thing tomorrow so yeah. we'll see. I mean, like, the, the only thing that scares me is the fact that, like, you know, maybe, like, after two weeks, like, everything, all the numbers are, like, started increasing again, you know? And that could yeah. be, like, a pain in the ass, right? But, uh, yeah, like, I cannot wait to see all the homies escape with all them. We do have, like, some technical difficulties. Right now, it looks like rush hour from... For Instagram. Ah oh, man, sorry. You here? Wi Fi kicked me out, I guess. Yeah, now <laughs> now I hear you again. Yeah, like like you said, um I'm kinda worried about that too. Like now that people are uh people are actually more happy to be out and more people are using the time back out and be mm. with other people. So I think it's gonna uh, increase the numbers again. But then again, I I don't think you can um like keep it up like this forever True. so it's either gonna happen now or like two months later but as for f for my region right here like in austria it all looks pretty safe like the numbers are down pretty much and it never it never got it, it never gotten too bad actually like mm -hmm. i work in the hospital like i i'm a nursing student and I've been working on a COVID station, actually. Oh, really? It, it's been pretty much dead. I, I've, seen, I've seen two positive patients oh, in, wow. in two weeks of work, actually. And the others were, were tested negative eventually. But after all, um, I, think, I think we handled the situation pretty well, or at least uh, the country. And the people were, were really following those I got to say strict orders like it's uh, it's hard to to be inside right when spring starts and if spring is like this I mean I don't know how it's in in Italy but damn like spring's been amazing here the best weather you could have ever wished for and then you got to stay in the house it's the wow. worst thing ever <laughs> yeah, probably pretty much pretty much pretty much no no it's <laughs> like the same thing happened here in Italy like when the government says all right guys from tomorrow shut down Man, the mm. weather was like the best <laughs> weather like we ever had like in years. Like it only went like it rains only like two times probably or something like that. It was like fuck, man. And then like from the forecast, like the, the next week will be okay, but then the, <laughs> the next one after it, it will be like kind of a shitty. So man, that's fucked up. But anyway, I mean like um, I'm really hoping that like we are going to be able to handle it as you guys did. Just because, you know, I just tired to, to stay here at home, not working and all that. So, and like here in Italy, just like, uh, I don't know if you heard about it, but like we had like uh, some serious problem and uh, the yeah. nurse at the hospitals, like I've been to one of the, one of the main hospitals here in Milano and like uh, the nurse like told me that like they've worked like 58 days in a row. Like in two months, they only, they only went home like two days. That's crazy. 
Yeah, like, see, that's that's after all how, how people get burned out, you know, like, and yeah, if the nurses get burned out or and the doctors as well, like, who's gonna who's gonna um, like take care of the of the people that need the help at that point? True. Plus, uh, also there's people that have other uh, serious medical issues that need to be taken care of, and they just true, true, they just exactly. gotta wait at some point, which which makes the whole situation worse in my opinion. But uh, after all, it's um it's everyone's it, it's everyone's take on this like everyone has to has to um take responsibility for for their own actions here so Definitely. that's why i stayed pretty much at home pretty much by saying i i took those two three steps outside and skated my p rail which was which was a lifesaver at the, at that point but yeah definitely <laughs> like Damn, I wish um I wish I could have skated in skate parks or street, but I never set foot at any park or anything. I haven't seen friends in in weeks, which meant uh which was which was really weird. Like I only saw them in, in conference calls or uh I watched I watched your live stream. So by the way, you're doing work, you're doing hard work with this here. Thank you again for this. <laughs> no, 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 I mean it's 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 from for me it's having fun, like you know, talking with friends and like uh you know, <laughs> knowing something different between like, you know, the, those uh, contests that talk, you know, like the, those 10 minutes chat at, at the contest right now, I am having the chance to, you know, to know a little more about you guys and like to know like different things that I always had in my mind to ask to people that I admire <laughs> too. So, I mean, <laughs> it, it's a way to kill yeah, time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks again, man. Plus, no, I, also no see, I, I just took a look at the comments and... The people are roasting me for the way I look. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta go through the hair, hair hairdress eventually. But damn, man, but take a chill. Everything's and... closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Hairdress, hairdress is about, about to open up in a week, so may, maybe I'll, I'll post a selfie for you guys then. <laughs> <laughs> but so, you, you won't believe this. Uh, sorry, just, just, just one more thing. Like, yeah, of um, course. Go way, ahead. <laughs> like we said, the weather was uh, amazing for. One month straight, I think there was no rain at all, just maybe at night. So on Friday, skate parks are officially back open. You can go skate. And two o'clock in the afternoon, it just starts pouring rain, just like raining <laughs> cats and dogs. And we're like, you cannot be serious. Like every no. single day, we were wishing to get out. I, uh, everyone's getting tanned on the balcony and inside, <laughs> inside their houses, more or less, like through the windows. And now it's starting to rain. But Shit. well, <laughs> crazy, crazy, and like so, like with that being said, like um, you're working as and studying as a nurse, don't you? Yeah. So, so I started, same as uh, Leo Um, I actually don't. I actually don't know um about Leon. Like, is well, I, yeah, I think he's I a think nurse he's, at NHS. He's, yeah, like like I want to say, I think he's more experienced than I am. Like, I started nursing school in 2018. Mm -hmm. about to get my diploma next year in in autumn uh if everything goes well but yeah like i'm taking pretty much the same route here um and how is it like is it yeah. hard is it like um is it like a, a difficult course to to get it or you mean like school in general now yeah no, i mean like the, school? The, exactly the nursing school yeah um yeah people people uh, kept telling me like i i was i was super um like curious about about how school went before I started it, um, because I got into this whole field because in Austria you still have to uh, to do like military service at eighteen, and if you don't want to oh, do really? military service, yeah, and if you if you refuse to do military service for six months, you have to uh, do social work for nine months. So I chose that, oh, wow. and with that I got into I got into medical school, and people kept telling me that it's super hard and all that, but I guess in the end, it all depends on on the effort you put in. So um, it's not too hard. You have to you have to put your effort in. But it, uh, at the end of the day, it's it's a really interesting field. Like you see so many different aspects of life and like, all the different stages of life. So I work with kids. I work with with the elderly and um, like with all different kinds of diseases. And you really, it's just like. I mean, it's a different aspect here, but it's just like in skating as well. You you meet so many different people with different um, uh, that treat themselves differently because of um, the way they got they got a different uh, way of life because of injury, because mm -hmm. of diseases and whatever. And 
yeah, like sometimes it's really hard when you're working with patients, like really to um, to stay strong yourself. But in the end, it's just uh, uh, like a really uh, the re job really gives you uh, something along your way in life. I, I gotta say, yeah, so it, it's definitely man. It looks like definitely a bit of um, a great piece to um, like a great advice for life you learn every day there. Even if it sounds <laughs> easy that I say it like this now, but it, it is, it is. There might be some like Wi-Fi problem. Again? You oh, no Greg? way. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, like, like can, when did can, it... can, can, are you able to, to, to see me clearly or like, am I like a little blurry or something? I, I'm seeing you clearly. I, I see you a little blurry. Oh, oh really? no way. For some reason. I... Again? Uh, yeah, still? Scheiße. <laughs> scheiße. Still that? Or <laughs> did it get right better? Right now a little better. Or... Yeah. Okay. Huh. Weird. It does. It does. Yeah. Instagram. Like right now maybe it's a rush hour and everybody is doing their own <laughs> live stream or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so, maybe. Like, with that being said, like, no, no, I'm sorry. Like, with that being said, like, how long have you been, uh, have you been skating? And why did you start skating? Uh, like, all the way back now. <laughs> all the, all, yeah, exactly. All, like, since, since uh, the beginning. I started skating back in 2009. Like, early 2009. Um, I got a pair of, of Rollerblade TRSs. Uh, skated them flat, actually. Which made it super hard to, yeah. to grind at first. Because <laughs> at first I thought it was just unfair. Everyone was, was skating anti-rock and I was skating flat. Um, well, but... I got I got into skating really fast, like it, uh, it ho hooked me instantly, pretty much. And I got to see, uh, especially Chris Haffey videos, and then after that, Brian Aragon videos. Like I started pretty <laughs> much like every kid did, um, and with that, I just um, it just kept coming even more. Like I, I went to the first competition and met a lot of people along the way that took me with them on the road. So I got to see more. Uh, I got to see more people. Until eventually, like 2014, I um, I went to Winter Clash for the first time, which basically, which basically sealed the deal for that. Like I, I met too many, so many people uh, just on the first Winter Clash, and yeah, so I couldn't, I couldn't imagine life without blading right now. I, I couldn't have imagined uh, blading a, uh, my life without blading like 10 years ago. Actually, like first year yeah. already. You, you, yeah. you are probably the, 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 like, how can I say, like, the guy that I talked to that skated, like, the earliest. I don't know how can I say it. Because, like, for example, like, the rest of the guys, they started skating around 96, 97. Me, I started skating in 2000, like, somebody else in 2002. You're, like, 2009. So, you're kind of a, kind of a new school guy right here. Right now. <laughs> yeah, man, I started living in 96. <laughs> <laughs> True. I mean, <laughs> like, my cousin, Matthew... He started skating three years ago, but he's like 2002. So yeah, he's like yeah. young. So. <laughs> and like, yeah, you... so... no, no, go ahead, go ahead, my bad. Nah, I just, I just um, like I started skating with with other kids, uh, obviously my age, and met people along along the way that were older. And just like I was one year into skating, and this one older guy said. Um, uh, like I was trying a trick, and he, he was like, "Yeah, that's a real Dustin Latimer," and I'm like, "A real." what now and he's like dude you gotta you gotta start watching watching the older videos because if you say that in front of the wrong people you're gonna get your ass kicked <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I pretty much got into into all the the real legend names like like dustin latimer um uh aaron feinberg brian shima i all, already I, I didn't know them back when i started skating like i knew the people that were actually um like big at that time which were yeah Haffy still and Brian Aragon like game theory was probably the first video I actually bought so wow. <laughs> yeah that, uh, like thinking back it's really weird like when I watch game theory now uh, it feels like yeah it came out last year or something <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and like from the past which is your favorite <laughs> video from uh, from back in the day do you have like any anyone <laughs> I mean, um, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say like those super old, like Wuji Four or something, but like from the early 2000s. Do you have like uh, any favorite videos? 
All right, you you're not Perfection. allowed to to make fun of me, but I'm not sure which goes into category of early 2000. But um, like I just watched Leading the Blind five times over wow, and over again, man. which is man. probably one of my favorites. Uh, just because, well, the happy section there was one that I started with uh, as well. <laughs> Impossible, and like that section. It's dude, like, the whole video, and it's just so fun to watch like you this is one of the kind of videos that you watch and all of a sudden it's over like it went it goes by so fast because it's just good parts there's nothing you you need to skip or anything the video just runs through smoothly no problems at all <laughs> yeah and especially the happy part which is in my opinion it's like the i don't find Burke part in words which is like uh, and yeah. after and after and i mean it's, it's impossible the level that those guys have reached in uh in their section man it's something unbelievable yeah plus pat lennon has that amazing part in that which is just this is just like one big stunt show i think it's just like the <laughs> like ridiculous yeah. spots and just ridiculous tricks and actions uh i just enjoyed the whole thing is like yeah and i can so watch like, it over and over again <laughs> yeah definitely and it's not like that long it's like a 30 30 something minutes. I'm gonna have like on the blading chats, Jan Welch. So like- uh, Really? Yeah, of course. As soon as, I, as soon as I, we are going to schedule that thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nice. let you know. Cause Jan, uh, Jan nice. is the man. And, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, so but with that being said, like, <laughs> like um, how did you end up skating for ramps? Because I just think you were saying like, if Happy, Happy's part in leading by was your best section, what does it mean to you and yeah. how did you get skating for ramps? Um, so, um, I think I, uh, it took me a few years until I started skating ramps. Um, I always, I've always been a fan of ramps actually. Like I started skating and I thought these were the best skates available. Um, and I thought, yeah, but I have to like tr uh, get stronger ankles before I start skating them. Like I saw the older <laughs> videos and I saw those big boots and i was like oh man dude if i start skating i'm gonna i'm gonna get my ankles fucked you know <laughs> but <laughs> and so it just took me a few years and then i started skating rams and i just love it actually i started because of niels jansons um like i think it was in like 2012 or something he was skating those half feet 2.2 boots and they just got me hooked they looked like sneakers on him i was like damn these look so fine like i gotta try it at least I was instantly hooked, so I just kept buying every single ramps that came on the market after that. And I think it was five years ago, uh, before Winter Clash, I went to a, to a competition in uh, Utrecht in, in the Netherlands. And I went to, to Rotterdam after that, like I was, I was around for a whole week. And I just used the... the um, the social media platforms like like Instagram and Facebook and kept the and brought the word out that I was around like I was I was trying to <laughs> skate and get my name out there as much as possible and at some point like I I think I, I got second at that point at amateurs division and Rams just answered on, on my story there and was like yeah man dude that was sick and do you have any footage of that I was like uh, and I showed it to every uh, every single one of my friends. It was just like unreal. I didn't have any connections to any brand at that point. Uh, it was just Rems um, reaching out for me at that. And they were like, dude, it's not going to take long. Like a year after that, you're going to get sponsored, right? And I think it was like a month a month after that, um, Kato wrote, wrote me that he would love to send me over the new Josiah Blee skates and just... Um, see where this is going like just try to keep me on flow and and like in 2017 uh he just updated the website and then he was like yeah you're gonna like the site because you're gonna be on it and i'm like yeah nice like because we did a tour earlier this year and i was like yeah cool they used some photos there to to use in the background or whatever and it turned out he, he turned me amateur at that point and and he was like, yeah, so what do you think about the site? I'm like, dude, am I amateur now? <laughs> I, no, nobody told me about it. It was like a huge honor. And I, I, actually, I cannot believe it at this point still. It's just, yeah, like Kato, Kato was just like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this, um, 
like I'm gonna make you amateur now because I think this is going somewhere. And if you're gonna, if you're planning on keeping skating like this and uh, like trying to keep it up and learning as much, I think this is a good choice. And like, yeah, I still have to ca thank Kato for this move and Damn. just for well hooking me up uh, in general. Like, it's it's been a pleasure so far. Man, I bet. Let me like, really say within within the legacy that he built. With uh, with Definitely, Connor, with, yeah. with Happy, with Nick Wood, and uh, and then I all, Damn, all yeah. the EU guys like uh, like you, Joe Zank, uh, Niels uh, before Rossi's and and all that, Josiah yeah. Lee, and I, like I bet it could have been like a super honor, wasn't it? Yeah, that that was that was definitely it. Like it was just, um, I mean, I, I mean, at that point where I got hooked by Rams, it was, um, it was, well, just a different life experience i gotta say like it was the first time i ever um got involved with a boot sponsor and was like and i thought like having someone to send you over a skate is like the biggest honor you could you could have yeah. in skating you know so i was super thankful and i and i got my first pair and I, was, and I thought all right i'm gonna keep this pair until the next one comes in and even if it takes two years, I'm going to skate this baby to death. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I just kept skating the, the, the skate over and over. And it's just, I just loved it. And I tried to keep, uh, to make, uh, to keep producing content as much as possible. Um, yeah, so uh, especially because, like I said, I didn't have any, any connections to, to Kato or, or Sunshine at all. And he just kept reaching out. And I was like, all right, I think... I think work's paying off at, at this point now, <laughs> but I'm not nearly where I want to be. Like I'm still I'm still trying to 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 get bigger and like like get around more. So true, true, true. The That's road's awesome. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And like so, with that being said, like you know what I was doing before, like doing our chat, I was looking for some of those remedies uh, um, edit from Conor O'Brien and, and Happy and all oh, the guys. Oh yeah. And I ended up on that one where Connor skating the OS uh, three or two, uh, <laughs> the one that Nick was. Man, like that edit, it's like probably one of the best I ever seen. <laughs> yeah, man. But it's just like, yeah, it, like this was also one of the first videos I saw when I started skating. Like it came out <laughs> uh, around this time. And I thought, yeah, those skates look cool. Let's see what Nick Wood does to them because he did the promotional video. <laughs> and he just starts shooting at them and throwing them out of cars. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure whether right, I like this you. guy or, or not. Does he actually skate? I didn't see him with skates on at that point. Uh, I lost you a little bit, Mike. You some Wi-Fi problems? Can you hear me? No, Nick Wood is uh, in Mexico right now. He got some uh, some business to handle. <laughs> Can you hear me right now? I hear, I hear now, yeah. You hear me, Nick? All right, perfect. <laughs> Like yeah. Some, yeah. All right. All right. We're back. Definitely. All right. We're back. Yeah. And then, um, where were we? <laughs> I, 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 like somewhere between like Connor Bryan and Nick Hood. And did you know that like Nick Hood is half Mexican, half Italian? Did you know oh, really? that? Really? No, I didn't. I yeah. didn't. I thought I thought he may, he might yeah. have like um, like South so South American roots or whatever. But I I wasn't sure. I didn't know that he was he was <laughs> half Italian. Because Sick. I met him in uh, Winter Clash, like all the Santi crew went to the Winter Clash 2008, and I met Man. them. Like there was like a uh, Robbie Winchcomb, uh, Damian Wilson, Nick Wood, and all that. And like as I was like, because like back then I was that Winter Clash was outstanding. Everybody were in there: Carlos Pianowski, Chris ha Chris Happy, Mike Damn. Johnson, Jimmy Minto, the Santi really? crew guys, and uh, yeah, every, Chris Cheshire, yeah. Everybody were in there. And like Nick, Hood, we ended up. I ended up drinking yeah. beer with the with, with those guys, and then Nick <laughs> told me, "Hey, you are Italian, right? My mom is she's Italian. <laughs> she's from Sicily." I was like, "Oh man, that's cool." It was, it was it was quite fun. Man, how is how is that guy? Like, I I never I never got to skate with him or or see him in person, but 
um, like, how is he? Like, people told me he was a super fun guy. He, least... I mean, he is. I mean, like, I, I, I just talked with him, like, 15 minutes or something. So I cannot, but, like, he and Damien, yeah, I mean... back then, like, when, when I met them, there was, like, a fun chat. Like, so we just talked, like, for 15, 20 minutes or something, and it was super yeah. fun. I mean, like, See, they were, yeah. of course, outside of the skate park, drinking beers. I think <laughs> Damien, he was, like, shirtless. It was, like, super, like, I mean, in Mulhausen, it was, like, super cold. And he was, like, shirtless, drinking the beers. I was like, wow. Yeah. That's fun <laughs> right not, there. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so I, th I think Santi always had, like, a different, a different image. Uh, mm. You know the, the filth video they made? Like, that Santi yeah, filth video? That was the first video I actually won in a competition. And I was, like... 12 years no 13 years old and um and i just i just got home and i saw and i saw yeah i want this video nice i want i want to watch that video i haven't heard of it so i uh, i throw it in and my mom and my dad are watching with me and it just starts <laughs> with with them um like they they were hunting a duck at one point and they were they were drinking beer like masses of beer and and throwing up and i'm like Oh my God! My par my parents are seeing uh, are seeing for the first time what inline skating looks like, uh, and so, and so I was like, you know, you know what? I got a I got a PlayStation in my room. I'm gonna watch it there. I don't think I don't think you you're really interested in in skating uh, after all. So I think that Man. kind of threw a threw a bad light on skating. But I thought I, I personally thought it was a super fun video. Yeah, I mean they were super entertaining and super. It's it's better like the 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 life hit the world crew because you know all of them they were like making super crazy thing. Yeah, they were like off and on skates definitely like the the skating parts were were amazing as well. Like Nick, Nick Wood definitely definitely killed it in this video. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, with that being said, like, uh, um, you are, like, skating, you're, like, practicing skating uh, quite often at that skate park that we are used to, to see, the one with the rail and, like, with the higher yeah. edge and everything. And, like, uh, just yeah. like, the same question that, that I asked to, to Eugen, like, where did you get the inspiration to go, I wouldn't say daily, but I don't know if you're going there daily, but, like, how did you get the, 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 the inspiration <laughs> to go there, like, a lot of time, and every time you go there, to like bring out something new, some new content and all that. Um, well, it's it's kind of I don't know. Maybe maybe it's kind of an uh, like maybe I just need to move it at some point. But it's just like every day when when there's nothing to do, like just at, in the afternoon where I'm chilling. I'm like, all right, I gotta skate. Like I'm always I'm always kind of hyped to skate. And with Instagram being like this, um, like this present at this point, um, you see skating content on a daily, new content on a daily, and I just keep skating new, uh, see new stuff, and I'm like, all right, you know what? Now I want to skate too. Like it doesn't matter who posts something, but it's just like I see someone on rollerblades, and it just makes me want to skate. And um, yeah, sometimes sometimes you're lucky, and there's so someone else to skate with. Or the skateboarders here are really chill as well, so I'm skating with them uh, too. But um, after all, yeah, I'm pretty much skating every day uh, when the weather allows it. And if my body allows it, like I'm kind of <laughs> hurt right now too. Like after first street session, I, I kind of destroy myself again. But <laughs> it, it, it doesn't prevent me from skating. And it's just, I don't know, it's just like, like I wake up and I think, all right, like after school or work or whatever, I'm going to get my skates and I'm going to get skating. I got to. I just want to. It's just awesome. just keep. Yeah, it, it's um, I don't know. It, it just doesn't get boring. It, it, um, you get rid of uh, like at some point the flat rails not fun. It's not fun enough uh, anymore. And I just go to the next spot and then that, that makes a whole lot of fun. And then some sometimes there's some other people coming around that I've never seen before. And skating with new people is always fun. It doesn't matter what spot you're skating. It's always fun, hands yeah, down. Yeah, so true. it's just, yeah. Um, there's, yeah, a certain passion for a sport, definitely. So I, I could <laughs> not imagine, it, like, uh, a day where I'm not at least hyped for it. So. <laughs> but, I mean, I, mean you, I, I, think, I think you get me, right? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, it's, I'm, it's I'm kind of our thing. thing. <laughs> 
it's like the same thing for me going to the skate park where we skated together like two years ago. I mean, it's it's right there. Why not going there to keep on practicing, to keep them like to be in shape or like, to, to spend yeah. time, you know? Definitely. Plus, you always get to be in the sun. Like, uh, yeah. no one's asked. Like, I'm always tan, like in uh, in the face, uh, like arms and maybe maybe my calves but that's it like <laughs> as soon as i'm putting on shorts it, it, it looks horrible like you can see like everything below below the knees is brown and like knees is just like pale skin <laughs> i mean i mean tan lines are horrible but at least you get to spend time in the sun right <laughs> exactly, exactly definitely and like so with, with that being said like what is twg and like what it means and when it all started um Actually, it's not, it's not my thing. Um, I did not start it. It came around with Marius. Um, by the way, shout out to those guys, to, those, uh, to my homies. Um, like we were skating at the same indoor skate park every winter. And we, we got to know each other there. Like It was me, Brian, Flo, like the people from around here skated with those two. And we just... Yeah, uh, like we just had fun every time we sk uh, we went around to skate. And so one summer we were like, all right, let's just hit the streets too. Why not? We only live like one and a half hours away from each other, one hour away by oh, car. So, uh, plus at least one of us has a car. We were pretty young, but there was one guy who had a car uh, here. And I think um, they also had like good train connections as well. So we just met up and, and started skating together and uh, and made content, which was horrible at first like if i if i look back on it, it was just like the like you know just get the camera and film it and it just looked kind of sketchy and all but yeah, i mean we like were... everybody started like that no but we had fun and it was just it was just a bad... oh sorry no problem which is like uh Uh, a word a word mixture of a german french english word like it means trottoir grinders which is like okay. uh, trottoir is like a um a sidewalk so okay. it was just like sidewalk grinders actually <laughs> so this is how it turned out like we were we were just having uh, fun skating small stuff and just yeah just trying out new things um And I was kind of, I was, I liked the idea of, of having a crew and like that last, uh, like that, um, and a name to it, you know, and, um, something that, that represented us in just like short letters, you know, like it was TWG. Um, and that was us. That was five, six of us skating together. And, you know, so, so we could represent our heritage. Like we were from, from a part of, of Austria, from a part of Germany that, people never really hear about like there's not many people coming around from from where we live so we tried to get it on a map and i was just i just kept working into it i mean eventually everyone goes there goes their own um goes their own way i mean fabian's living in um in frankfurt now and mary's is living in stuttgart so they live they live like two and a half hours three and okay. a half hours away now um so it's it's pretty hard right now to skate together but um at that point it just made sense like we were living close to each other and we just had like this one crew we were we were those people representing this neighborhood and we just yeah tried to make the content that represented our skating represented our um like our people here so this is how it started and right now we're at a point where it's really hard to to keep making content that was like it was back then back two years mm -hmm. ago But I think I think uh, in the future there's the, um, there's gonna be the possibility to like to get something back on track. I mean, with Mary is working uh, working hard for them now. Like the, he's putting out lots of content for them, and and with the FTS guys, he's filming a lot. So it's kind of hard to to like balance this whole thing out. But yeah, new True. things are definitely coming along the way. We're we're not slowing down at this point. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Like, there's also a shout out from the video. Sammy says, the last TWG vid was dope. So, yeah, thanks, that. man. And Thank I, you. I also do really enjoy it. So, like, that was pretty cool. So, with that Thank being you, said, like, um, uh, what about Blade Life and, and Red Eye? How did you get like uh, into 
those two companies <laughs> it's it's all really like super random like everything <laughs> i got into was pretty random um same thing like same weekend when i was around um like the uh, like the netherlands before winter clash and i i got my first contact with with rems um i met francis ali from from blade life shout out to francis and also bobby oh, man. yeah shout out to both of those legends like uh i just got, uh, got to talk to them I, i i never knew them before like i knew who bobby was and i knew he was good but i think he, he um he was just about to make his name uh like in the scene so um i think it was it was kind of like just before he 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 was breaking out and i and i met him and i'm like is that bobby spasover i'm just gonna talk to him you know and <laughs> i met I'm, so so i just talked to bobby and then i talked to francis and francis was wearing all this blade life stuff and i'm like damn this blade life shit looks sick like um I think I, I also was wearing like a, a shirt I ordered. I'm like, dude, this new line, also super dope. And he was like, yeah, the 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 boss from Blade Life, uh, he saw you already. And I I told him, damn, you you need to, um, to take this kid in the crew and like to, um give him some like, make him a part of the Blade Life family. You know, um, and when I heard that, I was just like, all right, how how the fuck does this happen? Like, how <laughs> how does it just go from we're skating back home to all right, this random guy um, I met at the skate park tells me like, yeah, this might, there might be something coming up for you. And I think it was also like, I think a year after that, um, I got to talk with Greg, shout out Greg, this point again, for <laughs> making the sick, sickest clothes definitely out there. Like I, I bought so many things beforehand uh, f from this company and it was just like, it was it was fitting super well. Like uh, I felt super welcome in the team. It was just like, it's just like a family, which sounds cheesy again. Like, like <laughs> every, like every, everyone saying that is like a family, but like with play life, I, I really, I really get the feeling like we roast the shit out of each other. Like every <laughs> time I'm in the UK, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back in tears. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is, this is some true family shit there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> And that, that's the thing with, with Blade Life. And yeah, so now I'm just trying to keep it up for um, promoting the new line as well. And with Red Eye. Which is, just came out, right? Like the new line from, from uh, yeah. Blade Life. Like a couple of weeks ago, exactly. isn't it? Uh, like uh, they dropped the new line at Winter Clash. And now they, they even dropped new shirts. Like new a, shirts, short sleeve right. ver a, shir a short sleeve version of the, of the long sleeve they just recently made with the patch here. And um, also this new Blade Life shirt. You should just check it out. Go to the Blade Life uh, channel. Let's check out what he made. It was a good, good thing. Like everyone listening here. <laughs> <laughs> and as for Red Eye, uh, it, was even, it was even more random. Like uh, <laughs> Red, uh, Red Eye was, was starting this Instagram channel. And it was just super um, like uh, it just... Uh, I got so many questions about it. It was just this channel and it was saying something about, yeah, something is coming up, making high quality wheels, blah, 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 blah. Like a huge announcement about something that is about to come up. And I'm like, all right, what's about to come up? And then they just present the new, new, uh, new uh, wheels like Glowwiki and, and Waikiki. And I'm like, damn, they got, a, they got a good team there and they got some good wheels but i thought all these wheels were too big for me skating flat like um i'm strictly uh skating create originals i don't know why i cannot switch frames but uh, i just i was just searching for wheels that were 58 millimeters or below that and then they dropped the 55 millimeter wheel and i didn't find them in any skate shop and i'm like yo you guys ship into austria or, or whatever right? you ship into any Uh, European shop at this point or, or what's the deal do I have to wait or uh, what's this all about and then it's just like uh, the the response I got was just um, yeah you know what you're skating the 55 flat you know we, we need someone to represent the 55 skating flat um, and by the way it's John from texting you and I'm like <laughs> dude what is happening it's just like just like one big move <laughs> uh, so I was I'm texting the company and John from uh, writes me from the company uh, account writes back and he's like, 
yo, we had our eye on you uh, and we thought you would be the perfect match, like skating the small wheels flat and represent this. And I'm like, this must be like some weird kind of joke, you know? <laughs> and, he was, and he said, yeah, I'm going to talk to Buck real quick um, if he's down for this. And five minutes later, he was like, yeah, Buck, Buck told me it was good. So I gave him my address and I think three days later had, uh, uh, again, battery. He's almost dead. <laughs> so I had a huge <laughs> stack of wheels at home and it, it, uh, I was like, all right. So last week I was looking for new wheels and now I'm here uh, and I got to represent this brand. And I'm like, oh my God, like, <laughs> again, huge honor. Like it, it all, it, like all the sponsors I got along the way were super random and um but in the end i'm so i'm so grateful for like every single opportunity i got through it and like with no, red eye awesome. i that's think awesome. i think red eye is also one of the uh, like top brands to be sponsored off if i said it right now like um like buck really takes care of, of the riders i mean you know it we're both in the same <laughs> in the same chat you know but <laughs> exactly like like he, t he takes good care of the riders and uh, he makes sure the riders are uh, are doing good and have uh, they have enough um, they have their stuff and they get they get around and like they they have enough money around and like he's paying he's paying dinner for us at Winter Clash or whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, uh, Blade Life with Greg, it's the same thing basically. Like, I was actually just when this COVID thing started, I was about to go to UK um, with a plane ticket that Greg bought for me. So. It's cool to see, like, they are, like, right now at this point, uh, to see, like, companies like that. that they are really taking care of their riders, first thing first. And yeah. also to build up, like, like a proper uh, um, family image or, like, a, a friend's image between, like, the, like, between the bladers, of course, and also, like, on the team. Like, to making the team, the team member of the brand, not, like, random people picking up here, here, and there. But like you know, yeah. it's that friendship, and then from the friendship, the team, which is pretty Definitely. cool in my opinion. Definitely, like I, I mean, just just um, look back at the session we had at Winter Clash. It was just like a blast, you know. Like it was just yeah, it just felt like a re like a regular session you have between friends. It it was not like all right, we're getting to know each other here, and like everyone's skating different spots. Like we're all doing our thing, but at the same point, kind of doing uh, like going on the same spot with a different approach like it just it just matches well like uh also like i think he, he's got good people on the team um also like as what kind of person they are like i mean again i'm telling you this you know all the people <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah so no i mean it's just, it's, just having I a blast you. seeing seeing everyone at winter clash or at least uh, most people that that were able to come over. For everyone that didn't, you missed out. This was the best winter clash I've been to yet, yeah, yeah, so far. <laughs> but <laughs> Great. Ho hopefully next, hopefully Man. next year we we'll see the whole team at the winter clash representing. <laughs> Damn, that will be great. That will be great. And um, and so like with, with that being said, like, do you have any like besides of course this all of this corona situation? Like, do you have any future project on the way? <sighs> Um, yeah, so right now I'm just, well, just randomly in the streets filming, trying to get as much content as, uh, as possible. Um, I'm definitely trying to like get one major deal out. Like, um, I thought I was, I was going to bring out something by the beginning of summer, which is going to take a while now, but, um, and other than that, maybe just trying to stack up for, for red eye because, well, Big things are happening there, <laughs> and yeah, they look like, like for that. <laughs> not not really any plans. Like uh, school's taken a lot of time for me, but I'm just trying to to keep being productive and trying to uh, to get as much content in that I'm that I can actually uh, proudly show the people. You know, like <laughs> at some point you just get picky with the, with the stuff you film, but I, I'm trying to get as much content out as uh, as I can. Like and Nothing, nothing um, particular right now, though. Like nothing um, that's gonna represent anything. Maybe just some independent project, like the last one I did. Just like one video, just mm -hmm. just uh, yeah. whatever comes along the way. 
Awesome, like awesome. Yeah. Who, who's like but, the old man Blade Life? Is is Greg? Uh, no, that's Matt. That's uh, that's a guy I met also met at my, from my first trip to UK. Like a good friend of Greg, also representing Blade Life. Shout he out, says Matt. like. He says like Winter Clash next year, my 40th birthday. So, yeah, he's it will be like super old, celebration. He's super old. <laughs> <laughs> no man. Yeah, no, like, like Sammy said, he's like he's like 56. Yeah, everyone calls him dad. <laughs> no, come on. Man. <laughs> so like Mike, with that being said, it's really like 45 minutes. So I don't want to steal right. more of your time. <laughs> and um, so brother, thank you so much for for being here. And dude, um, thank you for uh, having me on, week, man. No, no, no problem. I mean, like, it, it, was, mm -hmm. uh, it was, like, super cool. Like, next weekend, we are going to have Carter LeBlanc and uh, Jeff Howard. So yes, you, you got, you got the good people around, man. <laughs> and, That's uh, the legend. <laughs> and so, brother, <laughs> um, stay safe. I'm looking forward to see you uh, hopefully pretty soon. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, thank you guys for, like, watching it and, uh, and sticking around yeah. here with us. And uh, Thanks for everyone that tuned cool. in. Thanks for Definitely. everyone who turned in, man. And shout out to all my homies, right, right, who, who listened to it, and also to them, to those who, who missed it, sadly. But definitely, They're thank you for having me on, They're going to watch it on YouTube. Man. No, no problem, yeah. no problem, brother. So, yeah. It's been a blast. Thank you so See much, See you when the border brother. is open, man. <laughs> Definitely. Bye. Tell Mike. Tell Mike. Tell Mike. Tell Mike. Tell Mike. Tell Mike.